Hello friends, welcome to my channel called AVD Manufacturing. So today I am going to discuss how the rapid antigen and the rapid antibody test kit works upon. This test kit comprises of the three components. The first is the top, the second test strips and the third the bottom. Now let's see what are the components present on the test strips. This comprises of sample pad, the conjugate pad, the membrane, the captured antibody and the absorbent pad. Then what happens, this test strip is fitted within the cassettes. There could be a variety of samples which can run upon this test devices. For time being, let's assume that I am going to put my serum sample within the sample cavity of the cassettes. So let's start putting this sample into the sample well. So as you can see, now sample is completely went inside the well and has been absorbed by the sample pad. Now let's do the zooming of this process. Upon the macroscopic view, we found that there were two targets which were present inside the sample, which is then getting migrated with the help of the capillary forces and then it is going to get bind with the corresponding antibodies. There are two types of antibody, the yellow one and the red one. Both the antibody is binded with the gold colloidal particles. What happens? This gold colloidal conjugated antibody will then bind to the specific targets and will flow on the test strips. During its movement on the test strips, there were two more antibodies which were present on the test strips called as the captured antibody. Right? Then there will be interactions of the antigen and the antibody for few seconds during their movement. As you can see, the interaction has started slowly. So what will happen at the end of the reactions? If there is excess sample volume or if there is excess of the analyte which are left, it will get absorbed with the help of the absorbent pad at the end of the reaction. And this absorbent pad will prevent the backflow of the sample. So it acts in the two ways. Now friends, the time comes for result interpretations. So during the result interpretation, let's do one more microscopic view. So as you can see, there were two antibody. I told you the one antibody was the capture antibody, the other was the detector antibody. This detector antibody is in yellow in color, which binds with the gold and all, right? So then at the end of the reaction, if this sample contains an antigen or the antibody particular to the disease so there will be a formation of three lines one would be the test line the second test line two and the third is the control line 